Hello, guys. There are many people that will agree with me. A lot of people will disagree with me. But what I say here is that if you have a beefy computer, you want that DaVinci Resolve is taking advantage of all the RAM that you throw at it. But it doesn't. So I have 128 gigabytes of RAM. And you can see that I assigned all the system memory to it. But it doesn't use all that. So what did I do? I installed IMDisk. It's a RAM disk application. It's installed within two seconds. Then I assigned 64 gigabytes to a RAM disk. And then I went to media storage and assigned it here. I gave, gave it check and now it's caching in the RAM directory at light speed, just faster than your NVMe SSD. Why should you not just use your NVMe SSD, even if the NVMe SSD has the same speed as your RAM? There is a reason not to use your NVMe SSD, and this is the time to live off your very expensive SSD will diminish. This disk gets a proper beating every time you use your DaVinci Resolve projects on it, uh, especially if they are big. There is a ton of writing going on there and that's just diminishing the lifespan of your SSD. Not so much with your RAM. You may ask now, why did I still assign something here in my resolve temp on my NVMe SSD. The reason for this is if I go into the color tab and I grab stills, the stills are all stored there in the first of the list. So if I would uncheck this and only use the RAM disk for my caching and I shut down the computer, it would be gone tomorrow. And tomorrow I probably need some color matching to stills that I took. So I just let DaVinci give it a proper beating anyway, but not as much. So if I do anything else but color grading, I would just uncheck this. And now DaVinci Resolve is using 64 gigabytes of my 128 gigabytes just for caching. And it makes it faster. It is possible that you have another configuration where you think, oh, I, in my case, it wouldn't uh, have that much impact on my workflow. Just let me know in the, in the comment section. I'm very interested how you guys see that. So for now, I say goodbye. If there are any questions, just drop them and I try to uh, answer them. I'm not your regular expert. I just figure things out. I run against the wall and then I just look how can I fix things and when I find something I just put it here without any intro with subscribe blah 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 uh, I just want to make a video from it so that other people can take the advantage or if I'm so stupid that I forget something I can go back to my own videos and watch hey this was the way I did it so thanks for watching now I already talked too much um yeah Goodbye.